Hi there, this is Christian from Langchain. Just a couple of weeks ago, we released version one of Langchain and Langgraph. And one of the cool features of it is that it makes it really easy to stream events and results from the agent down to any type of front end that you're using, whether it's React, Vue, or Svelte. So in this video, I want to build a little ChatGPT clone that shows you how you can build and create agent right in your Next.js application. Every Langchain agent maintains a state throughout its entire lifetime. That states contain information like messages that it exchanges with the LLM, as well as tool calls, or specific custom states that middlewares add in order for it to work. This state information we want to display in our front end. We want to display the messages, as well as the tool calls, and eventually information that come from the middleware. Like in the case of the summarization middleware, we want to show when the summarization middleware actually summarizes the content in our context window. So let's look at our Next.js application. It's a very basic chat application that allows me to interact with the agent through a simple text input field at the bottom. So if I ask the agent, what is the meaning of life? It will stream down its result to the front end. The application itself is very basic. Starting at the package JSON, all the packages we need is a provider package that makes it very easy to connect with a large language portal provider. We need Langchain Core because it provides some basic primitives in order to work with messages from the LLM. We need Langgraph, which is our agent runtime and agent framework for help that helps us to stream down the messages to the front end, as well as the Langgraph SDK that provides nice front end hooks for our React application. And last but not least, we need Langchain in order to build and create these agents. The application has a simple API endpoint that does nothing more than parsing the request payload and passing it in our agent function. I like to abstract away the whole agent into its own module uh, so I can thoroughly test it uh, with unit tests as well as just uh, separate the concerns between API endpoint as well as agent implementation. So this basic agent defines a model, as you can see here, a Cloud 3.7 uh, Sonnet model. It, it comes with a tool that allows me to fetch custom information from a fake database that I have here right in the code. And then all it does is it puts these primitives together. It uh, calls the create agent, which we import right from Langchain. And this create agent function gets the model, the tools that we want to provide, a check pointer, and a system prompt. Now, the checkpoint is interesting. The checkpoint allows us to remember the threads and conversation that we have with the agent. So if we go back to the front end and say, hey, I'm Christian, and say after that, what's what was my name? You will see that it will remember me. And this wouldn't be possible without a check pointer. Langgraph provides different types of check pointer to allow you to store the state of the agents in different types of databases. The one I use in this application is a memory check pointer. So the, the state is being stored in memory, but you can also use a Redis check pointer or an SQL check pointer if you prefer different database types. And lastly, we create a stream for our agent. Uh, you can call the stream method. It takes the input of the front end. We provide an encoding property, which is going to be an event stream. We are interested in all types of information from the agent that includes updates from each node within the agent, as well as the node values and the messages that are being exchanged between the agent and the LLM. We're providing a configurable, which is a config object that contains information like the thread ID, which is an important to identify our conversation. And lastly, we define a recursion limit to ensure that our agent doesn't run into an endless loop of uh, continuously calling tools or, or running into a reasoning endless loop. Lastly, we're going to define a response for our endpoint, which contains the stream and some custom headers to make sure that we're returning an event stream. Now, all of this is being initiated in our chat interface. The chat interface component takes an API key and we are creating, in order to talk to our backend and providing that API key to our backend, we are defining a custom transport. That custom transport is a fetch stream transport, which we import from the Langgraph SDK package. And here we can define the API endpoint to which we want to talk and where our agent is deployed. And we're using the on request hook in order to pass along our API key. Now, in most applications, you probably have a large language, an API key for your large language model provider stored within the backend. Uh, here you can see we can also just 
have the user bring their own key. And then we're all wrapping DAS into the use stream hook. Now the use stream hook will update the component whenever a new message from the agent comes in. So this allows us to now wrap or loop over through all the messages that we see. If we have no messages so far, we're going to display a welcome stream. <laughs> and if we get messages in, we loop over them and display a black bubble when it's a human message, so a user-generated message. And we're displaying a gray bubble if it's an AI message. At the end, we're going to show a little loading bar that is active whenever the stream is running. In addition to that, I have an error message bubble uh, that I can display whenever the stream receives an error for some reason, as well as I show associated tool call bubbles. So every AI message essentially has access or can potentially call tools. And so we have a little function here in the tool calls by message where we basically convert all the tool calls being made by the LLM into tool messages that we associate with a certain AI message. So we can display these messages in order. <clears throat> but that's essentially it. So if we go back to our application and restart and take one of the example prompts, you can see here that it now starts thinking about what it needs to do. It finds the tool call in order to find the customer with that ID. We can display the tool call arguments as well as see the tool call results as well as whether or not the tool call was successful. And later we can see what the output of that agent is. Awesome. In this video, we learned how to integrate a Langchain create agent right within the Next.js application. It shows how easy it is to display messages as well as tool calls in a conversation-like interface. In the future, you may consider deploying this to production. Check out our Langsmith platform docs to see how you can deploy agents at scale with tracing and observability in mind. You can find the entire code base of this application right within your GitHub profile. So check out github.com slash Christian Bowman slash Langchain Next.js and feel free to clone, run it yourself, and just build cool AI application. Thank you for watching and see you at the next one.